Hey, what's going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in Gubei Watertown. It's like this town near Beijing. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Like they do all of these amazing Christmas lights for the holiday. And then they also do all these light shows. And then it's underneath the Sumatai section of the Great Wall, which is really unbuilt. Yeah, do you want to check it out? Yeah. Yeah, my sound quality is better. Yeah, it's because I'm on a landline. Do you know, do you remember what one of those is? Yeah, like you actually have a cord plugged into the wall. Yeah, anyways. All right, let's go check out Gubei Watertown here in Beijing. Let's go. You're coming with me. Good morning, it is 7.20 a.m. and I wanted to get an early start. It is negative seven degrees Celsius or like 19 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. It's definitely cold. But you can see the frozen water. I don't know what's up with all my vlogs in the frozen water recently, but there's frozen water there. But I thought we would explore early this morning before all the crowds. So you could get a look at this town while oh, it's quiet. Except for this loud guy. I hope I'm not annoying anybody. All right, let's go explore. Oh my God. What? <laughs> Welcome to my new home. I move in next week. All those new apartment vlogs you just watched don't matter. I'm moving into this ice house. Who am I kidding? I can barely be out here. It is so cold. Oh, well that didn't work, but I promise you, it's cold. So, while you're in the town, they're, oh, sorry, completely distracted by all the goldfish. That must be some pretty thick glass. Those ones are being punished. Can you see them in the corner? They are on time out. It's so cold. My ears are beginning to freeze off. So during the day, this street is bustling with people. There are a lot of restaurants and a lot of shops, so you can spend your time. But then, there's also this amazing, like, ice playground that's not just for kids. Adults can do it, and I'm gonna do it today, and I'm gonna show you, but I want you to get a look at it while there's nobody here. So these things are used as like canes or crutches so you can like walk along the ice. Obviously those ones are for children. It's very cool. The only other people who I've seen this morning, right there. So let's go hike to the top of that bridge and see what that view looks like. It's been fun showing you around Gubei Watertown here in the early morning before anybody else is awake outside of those three people I saw earlier. I'm gonna go back inside and get warm, eat some breakfast, and then we're gonna explore this when 
it gets open. So I'm having a very authentic breakfast. I'm staying at a local hotel. Check out what I'm eating. So I just got some baozi and some noodles. And coffee, orange juice, and some kind of rice soup. And then I did get some toast with butter and jam. <sighs> That's my second helping of noodles too, because they are so good. In this bao. Amazing. So now it's time for the sponsored, hashtag not sponsored, part of this video, and that is this hotel. It is a really cute little like boutique hotel, hotel, boutique hotel here in the center of Gube Watertown. So it's very quaint, I guess would be the right word. So you walk in and immediately to the right you have the bathroom. So it's got the a shower which is pretty cool with the rain shower. Toilet, towel warmer, sink. It's a pretty cool vanity. I like that. And then just like old doorknobs. Kind of fun. Then you walk out here and you've got this little wardrobe. I don't I've never even opened it yet. So you have your fire safety stuff. You've got hangers, so I guess you could hang something. And some slippers. So kind of nice. And then you just got like a desk area here and the bed and a window you can't see out of. So I don't know what is out there. Okay, let's send you back outside. This is the name of the place that I stayed, Yinghua Inn. Okay, so I've had a great breakfast charged up my camera again, and now I'm gonna head to the foot hot spring to dip these barking dogs, these hurting feet, in some hot water in this freezing temperatures. Okay, I think I found the hot springs. Can you see the steam coming off the water? I'm gonna try to do this. Oh my God, it's so cold. Whoops, I gotta roll up my jeans. Oh, nice. Oh, the steam keeps fogging up my glasses. Oh, I should sit over there for sunrise. Nice. The only problem with this is that my butt is so cold. I don't think this is natural, though. Now that we've got our feet all toasty warm, I won't say clean, because I, I, I don't know if that's chlorinated and things actually get sanitized in that water, but I'll say that they're warm. Let's go play on the ice playground. So here's the ice playground. So these guys over here are doing like whipping tops. So they whip the ground and get these tops to spin. And then down here you can do bumper cars. And then even further you can do like these little seats that you sit on and almost with sticks, like push yourself around on the ice. So overall, like really cool for the kids and adults. Looks like the adults are having a really good time too. I might do this a little bit later. See if I can convince Raul to come with me. Sorry, if you didn't watch the last video, I will link a card up here. Uh, Raul is somebody who is on this trip with me, uh, who also lives in Tingen. Okay, so we're doing the ice chairs. I recruited Raul back from yesterday <laughs> to do this with me. Oh my God. New experience, I never did it before. I know. We've got more people back there joining us too, so this is gonna be so much fun. Oh my gosh, this is great. Okay, so you can steer with your feet. Push. <laughs> Whoa! Go, go, go. Thank you. 
Johnny, what do you think of this? It's very nice. Uh, ice skating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so much Lovely. fun. Kate, you having a good time? Yes, I enjoy it so much, so happy. Yes, yeah. oh my god, it's the best. And there's Raul coming up behind. <laughs> All right, more. What is this called? Ice skating? Ice sharing? Ice slaying. Ice slaying. Ice slaying. Ice slaying. Ice slaying. More ice, ice slaying. Okay, so this far exceeded all of my expectations. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Highly recommend. They do this all over Beijing as well. I think probably anywhere where there's ice, but I didn't grow up doing this, and so, like this to me is so much fun. Look at the Great Wall all lit up. While we wrap up this video, I thought that I would try this black sesame, they call it cake, but it's, look at the inside. The line was huge, it took like over 20 minutes to get it. I hope it's delicious, how true. That's pretty good. You can see the whole, Inside is full of sesame. So interesting. So Gubei Water Town. So this is a great place for family, for sure. There's lots of activities to do. This is also an amazing spot to check out the Great Wall. If you wanna make two days out of it like I did to be able to come here, stay in a hotel in this cute little town, and then do the Great Wall. You can also hike down the Great Wall. You can even hike up to it you don't have to do the cable car. So I thought that was pretty cool as well. Overall, just an incredible little town, little getaway. There is Gubei Water Town. I hope you had a wonderful time exploring the city just as much as I did. If you're interested in seeing any of my other videos from Beijing, I will link my traveling to Beijing video, which takes me from Tianjin to Beijing, which is like my best performing video. So check it out. Other than that, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Okay, bye.